Bear came to stay with me on April 15, 2009. The early months were quite an adjustment. I wasn't used to having a dog around. I did take these still images when I take him to the tennis court or to play in the, a field that's adjacent to the complex where I live. We go walking around the uh, block quite regularly. Sometimes we'll go to a park or other uh, activities. Bear adapted to living here fairly quickly. It took a while, though, for him to get used to his uh, uh, brother and sister here. Spooky and Snapple, my two cats. We play with the tennis ball quite a bit. And when I'd work at home, Bear would always try to join me. And of course, going to the pool was almost impossible. He loved it a lot more than I did. We go walking along the greenway, not as often as he would like. He loves to get in the uh, stream, it's Indian Creek. How can you resist a face like that? After a few months, though, it seemed that the uh, cats and the dog adapted to each other quite fine. In the fall, I got an iPod Nano, so I began taking uh, little video clips while we walk and do other things. That's what's shown in the rest of this uh, video segment. Walking around the block, Bear always finds something to eat. Here I'm trying to be fancy with uh, carrying the Nano. I thought I did pretty good on this shot. Yeah, Bear just loves running down this hill. See if I can catch up with him. Bear, stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. Okay, you want to go? Go. <laughs> okay, let's go. The neighbors often ask me why I don't walk them on a leash as I need to have leash laws. In general, I've found the bear does a whole lot better being off of the leash than on it. He seems to have a problem around strangers with uh, barking and occasionally trying to snap at Here, bear. But if he feels like he can get away, then he doesn't seem to have nearly as much. I have toys, of course, for him to play with. I have a ball, tennis balls that we throw sometimes in the field. I have a frisbee that we sometimes use, but he really prefers just good old-fashioned sticks. And they have to be about this size. Like he'll play with smaller ones, but this is his favorite size, about two to two and a half feet long, and about a inch and a half feet long. He's chewed up so many of those that this field is now just littered with little three, four, five inch segments of ones he's chewed up over the last several months. Sometimes I think he treats them like they're a snake or something that he's trying to kill because he'll throw them around and bite on them. Other times he wants me to grab them and pull them and him try to pull them away from me. He usually wins, of course. And then sometimes he just eats big chunks of wood. I take him to visit my studio at the Flying Monkey Art Center on occasion. Usually I try to do it when no one's around. I have to keep him pinned up in my uh, studio. When strangers see him, they come up and want to pet him through the fence, but he usually barks and gets angry. For some people, though, he'll just instantly let them pet him with no problem. But that's one little problem area that we work on that can't, haven't gotten over yet.
distribution when I take him from his studio, I have a work on my game for And I know he just wants to get out because he wants to stay in the park and town house by himself. It's very hard to get work done when you stay with him. It is about seeing the dog's excitement being out in the snow like this. It's exhilarating, it's fun, it's funny. Bear gets kind of aggressive when he gets this excited. It's probably a little dangerous to know how to handle it. He literally thinks you're one of his buddies at this point. He's just crazy dog. having a blast. We don't get a whole lot Bear of snow loving here. the snow. Enough that he gets excited. I tried to get footage of him rolling in the snow, but of course I missed it. About the time I had the camera ready, he was finished with the rolling and ready to run. The snow didn't accumulate as much in the field over here, but he still had a blast just chasing sticks in the snow. I'm, of course, dressed like an Eskimo for this because it's very cold. <laughs> He'll play keep away with the sticks for a while, but eventually he'll let me get a hold of it and get away from him so I can throw it and chase it. I know he does it on purpose, even though he pretends like he was not going to let me get it. <laughs> and here he just snapped off, snapped off a piece of it. Now he's always aware of what's going on around us. Sometimes I'm amazed. Just the distant car, of a, or the sound of a car pulling into the neighborhood, and of course he's alert to make sure it's not coming his way. Thank goodness he's never chased after a car. Melting on the road. He's curious if there's going to be a dog getting out. And sometimes he thinks that he'll be able to get into someone else's car. He likes to go for rides. Yeah. Trying to shoot a little footage of Bear while he's sniffing at the snow. Come on, Bear! Come on! <laughs> now he comes over and jumps on me. <laughs> He seems to like the cold, and he certainly loves the snow. <laughs> he doesn't seem to notice how much of an impact the cold has on me. Well, this uh, final shot coming up here was taken, of course, after all the snow was melted and it started warming up. We were on our way back home. Most of the time, Bear will walk in the grass and stuff, but occasionally he'll just walk along the sidewalk next to me. And he usually knows when our walk is over. As you can see, he just goes right up to the door. He needs no prompting from me and he just waits until I open it. And just about always, one of the cats are waiting to see us, make sure we got home safely. <laughs>